Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking a $9 cigar that I bought without doing any research on before buying it. This is the Oliva Serie V Liga Especial. And after buying this cigar, I did a little bit of research on it. And thankfully, all of that research came back to be very, very, very positive. It was actually kind of difficult for me to find anybody saying negative things about this cigar right here. The most negative thing I could find said about this cigar was people saying it's overrated. Overrated doesn't mean bad, it just means overrated. The vast majority of people though seem to absolutely love this cigar, especially for the price. I saw it said multiple times where people were like, yo, the Oliva Serie V, it's a $20 cigar sold for less than $10. I was like, what? Is it really that good? Well, apparently it is. Apparently this cigar is just that good. So I certainly am very, very, very excited to try this cigar right here. But before I go ahead and get the cigar all out of its package and everything like that, I want to go ahead and real quick talk about why I bought this cigar right here without doing any research on it beforehand. Because typically speaking, when I buy cigars, I do a ton of research on them before buying one. Uh, just simply because I hate wasting my money. I, I absolutely hate buying something I'm not going to like smoking. And so, I tend to do a lot of research on the cigars I buy before purchasing them. But, I didn't do any research on the Oliva Serie V Liga Especial. Why was that? Well, the reason is because I went to a smoke shop not to buy a cigar. I went to a smoke shop to buy a very, very, very specific pack of cigarettes. But sadly, that smoke shop did not have that very, very, very specific pack of cigarettes. But the employees were very helpful. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to feel a little bit bad if I walk out of here without buying anything. So I was like, okay, you know what? I want. I kind of want to smoke a cigar in the next couple of days. I'll go ahead, take a look in their humidor, see what they have. I'll pick something up and I'll just smoke that in a couple days in and that's what i'm gonna buy instead of the pack of cigarettes that i want kind of thing i was like it is what it is kind of thing it is what it is and i walk into the walk-in humidor they have which is not a big walk-in humidor but it's a it's a walk-in humidor nonetheless and they have the saddest selection i've ever seen of cigars i mean like don't get me wrong it is time kind of to be expected the smoke shop i walked into was very much more a head shop not like a cigar shop or a tobacco shop or something like that kind of thing it was very much a head shop but Still, they had like the saddest selection of cigars I'd ever seen. And I was looking around and I was like, okay, of course they have Cohibas. Yuck. I don't want any of those. Um, they have um, some uh, acids. I was like, I'm not really feeling like an acid at the moment kind of thing. I'll, I'll get it if I absolutely have to, if I can't think of anything else to buy. But I'd much rather not buy one of those right now. I want to smoke one of those in the future, just not right now kind of thing. And I just continued looking around and nothing was really catching my eye until I saw a box of Oliva's. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. I've heard the name Oliva before while um, just browsing cigar forms and stuff like that kind of thing. And I was like, um, more so than not, I remember the name Oliva being associated with uh, a good thing kind of thing. I remember people saying good things about Oliva, I want to say. I was like, I can't remember if I'm remembering correctly, but I think that's, I think that's what I'm remembering. And so I was like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pick one of these up. If it's a bad experience, it is what it is kind of thing. If it's a good experience, hey, I can't complain. That is for sure. So I ended up buying this cigar right here for $9, along with a little bit of a lighter as well. And as said, after buying this cigar, thankfully, I did some research on it. And thankfully, that research came back to be very, very, very positive, which is why I am just so excited to smoke this cigar right here. But what are my expectations for this cigar? I've heard varying descriptions of the taste and everything like that kind of thing. I know that this is probably going to be a more intense cigar than not. I'm expecting the airflow to be pretty good. Those are two things that seem to stay consistent review to review, um, but the taste does not really seem to stay super consistent. I've heard that these uh, that this cigar can be peppery. I've heard that it can be sort of tangy. I've heard that it can be very creamy, almost chocolate-like. There are different varieties of the um, Oliva uh, Serie V. Uh, this one in specific is the Liga Especial. 
Um, so maybe I'm just getting the different varieties mixed up, but I've heard a, a lot of different sort of conflicting uh, tastes uh, from different reviews, so I don't really have any specific expectation taste-wise for this cigar right here, uh, but if it could taste like chocolate, I'd certainly have no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Um, I do think without further ado, though, it is now time for me to go ahead and get this cigar right here out, all out of the uh, cellophane, all out of the plastic wrapper, and then after that, I'm going to go ahead and cut the cigar, and then after that, I'm going to go ahead and get it all up, and go ahead and let you guys know what I I actually think of the Oliva Siri V Liga Especial. And let me tell y'all what, this is a little bit of a, this is a little bit of a thicky cigar, that is for sure. Look at this cigar. Now, on the wrapper, it says that this is a uh, 5 by 54 um, cigar. So definitely a pretty chunky cigar, if I do say so myself. I'm definitely expecting this cigar to take me a little bit to smoke, that is for sure. Let's just go ahead and smell it right off the bat before I go ahead and cut it. And it smells um, pretty good. I'm not sure based off the smell if I'm really going to like the taste of it, but it does smell pretty good. I'm getting sort of a... creamy, leather-like, dark chocolate with a slight bit of pepper smell in there as well. That's the sort of smell I'm getting. I'm getting sort of a, a creamy, dark chocolate leather um, smell with a hint of pepper in there as well. That's what I'm smelling, and honestly, that smells pretty good to me. If it tastes like that, I certainly won't have any complaints on my behalf. I'm not expecting this cigar to be super sweet by any means, but if I get hints of sort of like a dark, uh, of, uh, I'm getting more words jumbled up. If I get hints of sort of a bitter dark chocolate or something like that, I will certainly have no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Um, taking a look at the band, we can see the band looks absolutely beautiful. It just says Oliva right there in very nice gold, all embossed, of course, of course. Then we could just see like some gold doublons right there, or, or doublons, I don't know really if that's the right way of putting it. Then we could just see Siri V right there, and then it just says, um, Liga Especial. I find the name Liga to be pretty amusing, like Liga these nuts, ha <laughs> got em. Um, but overall, yeah, this looks absolutely fantastic. On the back of the, on the back of the, um, ring right here. It just says handmade. Pretty cool if I do say so myself. And yeah, no, this is certainly a very beautiful luxury style uh, sort of cigar band that I am a pretty big fan of. And the overall build quality of the cigar seems to be pretty good as well. Now, for the last couple days I've been owning this, uh, I've, uh, I've for the last couple days I've owned this cigar, I have not been humidifying it, so it might be a little bit dry, uh, but the build quality on the cigar seems to be pretty good. I'm not seeing any distinct holes or anything like that kind of thing. It seems to be pretty good build quality as a whole. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and see if I can cut this cigar a little bit open without cutting off the entire cap so i think the cap ends if i had to guess i think the cap ends right about there so i'm going to try to just cut like the littlest tiny bit off just like that kind of thing i didn't do a very good job of cutting that so i'm going to go back again and do that again i'm not showing you guys very well but it is what it is let's see if i can do that oh man i'm not doing this very well i ain't gonna lie y'all all right hopefully that is all good. I'm just going to go and just clean that up just a little bit kind of thing. Try to get that just a little bit cleaned up. Hopefully that is good enough. Let's just go and do a little bit of a test draw real quick. Hopefully that is good enough. Worst case scenario, I can always do some more. Uh, I can always cut some more in the future. It's better to cut too little than too much. That is for sure. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and start getting my $9 cigar that I bought without researching one bit all it up and uh, go ahead and find out whether the Oliva Siri V Liga Especial is uh, just as good as everybody online says it actually is. I've got my new torch lighter right here, which hopefully will help me light this cigar very easily. Let's go ahead and start getting this all charred just a little bit and everything like that kind of thing. Try to be very careful not to hit the edges too much or anything like that kind of thing. Just get it just like that. I know you're not really supposed to light this cigar that way, uh, but it is what it is. I wanted to make sure I got this lit up without having to try too, too hard. But it seems like it's pretty well lit up now. I certainly can't complain. Right off the bat, definitely a little bit rough. 
definitely lots of hints of pepper in the back of my throat. Um, that is for sure, but that's probably the roughness and probably just how hot the tobacco is um, affecting the taste at the moment. I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool for just a moment. Um, before I take another hit, I say as I'm looking at this like I want another hit already. Um, but overall, so far, so, so, so far, so far, not, excuse me, not too bad. You know what I'm saying? Not too bad. Ooh. Wow. That is kind of rough, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Even though I'm not inhaling it at all. Oh, excuse me. Go ahead and take a sip of water real quick. Oh, wow. I've got the hiccups. Why do I have the hiccups? Oh, man. I think I might have swallowed some of that smoke by accident. Oh, my goodness. Hopefully that got rid of my hiccups. I don't know if it did, but I'm um, usually holding my breath gets rid of my hiccups. So hopefully that got rid of my hiccups. It uh, sucks to have hiccups, especially when you're trying to make a video. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But right off the bat, this is definitely a very strong cigar. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. And it is definitely very different um, from what I would normally like. I definitely don't think this is a bad cigar per se. I definitely do think right off the bat it's pretty good. The taste is definitely more interesting than not, but it's not exactly to my preference. It's not sweet at all kind of thing. I definitely do prefer sweeter cigars, and this is definitely not one of them. But it's not cigar. It's not cigar. It's <laughs> I've got cigars on the mind, obviously. But it's not bad by any means, if I do say so myself. Yeah, no, not too bad if I do say so myself. I, I'm getting very, very, very peppery hints in my throat at the moment with really not much other taste. It's just kind of spicy, peppery right now. Maybe a slight bit of cream. Really not much interesting taste going on. I hope it gets a little bit better, I ain't gonna lie. I really do hope it gets a little bit better. I have been chugging away on this cigar a little bit too fast, so I am gonna start smoking it a little bit slower. But... Um, Right off the bat, I am definitely not liking the taste of this cigar all that much, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. So I'm just gonna let it kinda just slow down a little bit. I'm gonna let it kind of uh, cool off a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna go and take another hit. I think I'll just go and take another hit now. And that was much better. That was much better, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. and the hiccups are back. I don't know why they're back. I don't know what's going on. I'm almost done with my water bottle. I might have to grab another water bottle in just a minute, but. I didn't have hiccups before this video. I only got hiccups once I actually lit this cigar all lit up. Once I actually got this cigar all lit up. Well, it certainly is what it is. I certainly can't complain too much. But the taste I got um, after the cigar kind of cooled down a little bit and everything like that kind of thing was much better than the taste when the cigar was uh, all hot and everything like that kind of thing. When the cigar was all hot, it was very much sort of a uh, very intense, almost spicy pepper taste in the back of my throat with um, like a slight bit of cream as well. But now I'm getting sort of a creamy, I'd have to say leathery um, taste with like a hint of dark chocolate in there, I wanna say. Let's go and take another hit. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely have to say, sort of a, yeah, it's very much sort of a very creamy, almost, not not quite vanilla, like it's just sort of like creamy kind of thing, like coffee creamer, but not quite like super intense vanilla flavored co coffee creamer. There might be a hint of vanilla in there, but not much, but it's sort of a, a creamy, I'd have to say leathery tobacco taste. I'm not really tasting much dark chocolate right now kind of thing. Maybe there's like, actually, huh. I 
I think I am actually. It's just because the dark chocolate I'm tasting is not bitter dark chocolate. It is actually a more, uh, it is, it's a very creamy, yet not sweet, but not bitter dark chocolate. That's kind of what the dark chocolate taste is. Yeah, I'd actually have to say the taste right off the bat right now in the cigar at the point it's at at the moment um, is very much sort of a creamy, leather-like, dark chocolate tobacco taste with a hint of pepper in the back of your throat as well. Uh, not bad at all if I do say so myself. Uh, so far, the Oliva Siri V is uh, living up to um, how good it is supposedly kind of thing. It's, it's living up to uh, how good it's supposed to be. Um, this cigar, taste-wise, is not really all that much to my preference kind of thing. I prefer sweeter cigars. I prefer dessert cigars. Those are my personal favorites. Uh, but this, right off the bat, are really not bad in all honesty. Even though I prefer dessert cigars, this is still not a bad cigar, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Yeah, no, not too bad if I do say so myself. Yeah, I do think it is canoeing a little bit. It is what it is. I think I might just let it burn and if it doesn't fix itself, then I think I might uh, go at it with my lighter a little bit and do some touch-ups and whatnot. I'd prefer not to do that. So I am just gonna try some other tactics that did not work. That works with cigarettes and stuff to get the canoe all fixed. This is not, that, that does not work for a cigar though, it is what it is. Um, but, no, not a bad cigar at all if I do say so myself. I certainly cannot complain, I ain't gonna lie y'all. Not too bad. And honestly, I'm feeling a really nice, calm, very chill buzz at the moment. I was, um. I've been a little bit jumbled up today, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Uh, just rushing around a little bit, trying to get stuff done and everything like that kind of thing. And um, this cigar is providing a very nice break. This cigar is definitely providing a very nice break. The buzz is just really nice, really relaxing. I don't really feel the need to go do anything right now or anything like that kind of thing. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great right now. Let me just put it that way. And the taste is pretty good. It's just about the same as what I previously said. I certainly can't complain. I think I am gonna need to touch up this cigar a little bit. It is what it is. Let's just go in and see if I can. I don't know what the deal is. It's not liking this, apparently. Try it again. Boom. Fixed it a little bit. Hopefully that sticks. We'll find out. But I'm gonna go and put the cap back on this. I'm gonna go and set this back down on the ground. But yeah, no. I definitely have to say the taste is very, very, very different yet similar from what I'm used to, that is for sure. Very different yet similar to what I'm used to. It's almost like just an unsweet version of what I'm used to. I'm used to smoking more dessert-like cigars. Those are my favorite kind of thing. Uh, my favorite cigar at the moment is, is most definitely the Deadwood Tobacco uh, Crazy Alice, which is a very nice, very sweet cigar for the majority of the smoke. And um, this honestly tastes not exactly the same as that, but there are hints in the taste that are similar to the Crazy Alice, Except that this cigar is just not sweet at all kind of thing. There's no sweetened cap, of course it makes sense. There's no sweetness to the cigar at all. It is very much just a sort of um, unsweet cigar, but that's not bad at all. It is very, very, very good in my personal opinion. Just very different from, from what I'm used to. But overall, so far, more so than not, I definitely am enjoying this cigar. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm gonna try two. I know I'm really not doing the cigar any favors by doing that, but uh, I gotta get some screenshots for the thumbnail of this video. So it is what it is. I'm gonna let this cool off for a minute and um, 
I'm gonna smoke some more. I'm gonna actually try to smoke some more, not just uh, get it in my mouth and then immediately exhale uh, for the thumbnail and everything like that kind of thing. But gotta get a little bit of a thumbnail, you know what I'm saying? Gotta make sure uh, this video does at least somewhat well, right? I gotta make sure. Um, but no, the cigar right off the bat, not bad at all if I do say so myself. Very, very, very different from what I'm used to. I definitely still think right now I'd prefer to smoke what, I, uh, what, what I'm used to kind of thing. I'd prefer to smoke a, a sweeter cigar um, that is for sure, but this is by no means bad. It's just different in all honesty. And I'm honestly kind of glad that it's different from what I'm used to smoking. It's nice to switch it up every once in a while. It's nice to try to um, get some different stuff on your palate. And um, this is definitely helping me diversify my palate just a little bit. So I certainly cannot complain, that is for sure. Uh, today is a beautiful day though. I want to say it's like 75 degrees out here. I'm sitting in the shade right now um, in the side of a parking lot at one of my local parks. and. Um, it is just a beautiful day. It's a little bit cloudy. There's clouds over the sun right now, but it's just a little bit cloudy kind of thing. There's clouds every once in a while and everything like that kind of thing. So sometimes there's a cloud over the sun, sometimes there's not. It really does depend on uh, when you look around, but either way, it's a beautiful day, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, it's a very nice, quiet park uh, at the moment. Sometimes it's very noisy, sometimes it's very quiet. And right now, thankfully, it is quite quiet. And uh, let me tell y'all what, the cigar sort of um, head buzz is uh, kicking me a little bit. It's a very, very, very nice buzz if I do say so myself. I should have brought a snack with me today, but I didn't do that. That is what it is. I should have brought a snack. Oh, well. I should have. Piano. I'm definitely getting, ooh, wow. Oh, on those last two hits, that dark chocolate is coming in strong now. Okay, wow. So now the taste is very much sort of a creamy, dark chocolate, and then there's hints of leather. Wow. The taste has flipped just a little bit, wow. And we are definitely still in the, we were definitely still only in the first third of the cigarette. Um, or the, of the cigarette, of the cigar. Yeah, no. Not bad if I do say so myself. Wow. That dark chocolate taste is coming through. Very, very, very creamy dark chocolate taste. Almost like dark chocolate made with like, um, like rice milk or something like that kind of thing. Like rice milk, dark chocolate. Um, almost kind of like that kind of thing, like not like a vanilla-like dark chocolate taste, just sort of like a creamy, almost milky dark chocolate taste with hints of leather in the background and still a slight pepperiness in there. Although the pepperiness honestly is just from the heat of the uh, smoke when I just take hit, hit to hit to hit to hit to hit. That's my mistake in all honesty, but there is a hint of pepper in there as well uh, for me at least. But yeah, no, very, very, very interesting taste. Not a super sweet dark chocolate taste, but it's not bitter either. It's just sort of creamy dark chocolate. This would pair so well with some dark chocolate, especially some sweeter dark chocolate. This would pair so well with, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Man, I should have brought some dark chocolate with me today, but I don't got none at home, so I didn't bring any with me. Big mistake, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Big mistake. I should have gone out before this video and picked some up. Ooh, tried to exhale a little bit through my nose. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt quite a bit, I ain't gonna lie. That was not very pleasant. <coughs> I just I just breathed in that smoke as well coming off of the cigar. Yeah, trying to exhale that smoke, kicked my ass, I ain't gonna lie. That absolutely kicked my ass. Man, oh man. Yeah, that was not super pleasant, I ain't gonna lie. That is for sure.
Yeah, this uh, cigar buzz is definitely kicking me a little bit. I'm feeling just so relaxed right now. I'm feeling so good right now, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I'm just feeling so relaxed, so good right now. Yeah, this cigar right here, definitely not bad at all if I do say so myself. The Oliva, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, Olivia? I, I think Olivia, but no, it's like Oliva. Um, Siri V, Liga Especial, Liga These Nuts. Um, pretty dang good cigar if i do say so myself right off the bat i certainly got no complaints on my behalf i ain't gonna lie y'all i'm thinking it might be burning oddly just because i lit it badly and probably because it's a little bit dry i ain't gonna lie it probably is a little bit dry it's been out of humidor for like three days now so it is probably a little bit dry but still nonetheless even with it possibly being a little bit dry it is still a fantastic smoke i ain't gonna lie y'all not quite exactly to my preference but still not bad at all nonetheless very 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 different definitely very different than what my palate is used to and i say that as a good thing i really do say that as a good thing it's really nice to switch it up every once in a while and this definitely is a cigar that is i'd have to say different enough from what i'm used to smoking to be well different but similar enough to still be enjoyable. I'm getting a really nice sort of um, creamy, almost dark cho dark chocolate taste with some hints of leather. And that's kind of what I'm used to smoking. I'm just used to smoking that from a, a sweeter perspective kind of thing. I'm just used to smoking a cigar that kind of tastes similar to that, but a lot sweeter and maybe a little bit more intense on the chocolate level. But um, I think if I was to smoke a cigar that maybe was like very earthy, very peppery or something like that kind of thing, I don't think I would enjoy that at all. I don't think I would enjoy that at all. And if this cigar tasted like that, I really don't think I would enjoy it. But that's not what this cigar tastes like. This cigar tastes like creamy, dark chocolate with a hint of leather. Mmm, tastes pretty scrumptious if I do say so myself. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Yeah, not bad at all. Yeah. It's burning more evenly than it was now, but there's still one spot where it's not quite burning evenly, just right there, but I think that'll probably burn away momentarily. But look at that ash. That is uh, getting uh, quite brown if I do say so myself. I certainly can't complain. bug flying around me i'm feeling so relaxed though that i didn't even i didn't even react if i had if i wasn't smoking a cigar right now or um just having nicotine as a whole i would have probably been like whoa what's going on kind of thing but no i'm just feeling really chill i was like oh there's a bug okay i'm just gonna keep sitting here i don't want to do anything right now this cigar is pretty strong yeah this cigar is definitely pretty strong. I'm definitely enjoying this. This is by no means a light cigar, that is for sure. It's also definitely, um, even though I'm not inhaling it, rougher than not, which is really surprising. I think this is definitely a rougher cigar um, that I've smoked, that is for sure. But I mean, like, uh, it might just be due to this uh, cigar being a little bit dry. Um, since the um, smoke shop I went to uh, didn't have a lot of stuff in their humidor, I don't even know whether they have their humidor set up correctly, in all honesty. Um, and then I had this, even if they did, I had this cigar sitting out, not in a humidor for three days. So either way, yeah, this cigar is probably a little bit dry, which is probably why it's um, a little bit rough, if I had to guess. I definitely think this cigar would be a lot better if it was actually humidified correctly. Um, at least until yesterday, but um, I, I did not humidify it correctly at all. definitely do need to uh, see if I can pick myself up. Uh, I definitely do need to see if I can pick myself up a nice little uh, tabletop humidor or something like that kind of thing. I got more water in my car, but I think I might have to get up in a minute and go grab some. I know I'm probably gonna want some more water in a in a minute or so. I'm just gonna go ahead and shove that on my bag so it doesn't fly away or nothing like that kind of thing. But no, right off the bat, this is good. I'm taking my time with the cigar. I'm not smoking it super fast. 
and it really is uh, pretty dang good so far if I do say so myself. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Interesting. I'm getting sort of a sweeter, creamy taste now coming through. The creamy taste has been very mild. It hasn't been very sweet until now. But now that creamy taste is getting a little bit more um, sweet and the dark chocolate taste is kind of um, fading a little bit and I'm getting a little bit more of sort of a, a leather taste in there. Huh, it's getting to be a little bit sweeter now. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Is it burning more evenly than not? It's definitely burning more evenly than not now, I ain't gonna lie, so I certainly cannot complain that is for sure. Oh. Pretty nice early uh, 2000s, um, uh, early to mid 2000s Suburban driving by with some squeaky belts. I, uh, I see this guy, I, I go to this park a decent amount to record, and uh, I always see him. I think he's, uh, he must work third shift or something, I think I always see him sleeping in his car or something. And he always lives, he always uh, lives, he always leaves, um, like sometime around like 3, 3.34 or something like that kind of thing, and it's currently 3.36, so makes sense, right on schedule, you know what I'm saying, right on schedule, I always see him though. Um, his truck's pretty drippy, I ain't gonna lie. I like my Suburban as well, it is for sure. Which one's more drippy, though? That's the real question. I don't know. I don't know in all honesty. They're too different to be uh, comparable in drip. One's a, a much more modern, early 2000s styled, uh, styled suburban, and the other one is styled from the, from the, from the early 1970s. So, yeah, pretty different. Pretty different if I do say so myself. Oh yeah. All right, y'all, I think I'm gonna be right back. I am going to go grab a bottle of water. I definitely need some water, but on that last hit, I got some very nice cream and dark chocolate taste with some hints of leather. That was really nice. I'm gonna go grab a bottle of water. Ah, oh no. There we go. Got my fresh bottle of water. I'm gonna crack open momentarily more than likely. But first off, let's go and take another hit of this cigar. Yeah, can't complain. M much more interesting taste than not. Much more interesting taste than not, I ain't gonna lie. And the band is very loose, which I actually kind of do appreciate. <laughs> the last couple cigars I've smoked, um, when taking off the bands, the bands actually peeled off part of the tobacco leaf because they were so tight on there or they were like glued on there or something like that kind of thing. This one on the other end is, is very, very, very loose, which I actually I actually do appreciate quite a bit, I ain't gonna lie. But, yeah, no, not bad. I'm getting the feeling that this ash might burn might burn, might fall sometime soon. I am definitely getting the feeling it might fall sometime soon. But uh, hopefully it doesn't fall on me. But if I had to guess, it probably is. But wow. Yeah, 
I'm just feeling so chill right now, I ain't gonna lie. I really am feeling so nice right now. Um, yeah, this cigar is pretty intense. It's a, it's pr it's a pretty strong cigar, I ain't gonna lie. Um, and I say that as a good thing. Um, definitely, uh, I wasn't expecting this cigar to be this strong, that is for sure. I, I, I heard that it was more strong than not, but I don't think I was quite expecting it to be this strong. It's pretty strong if I do say so myself, but that is a, by no means a bad thing. I am enjoying a very, very, very nice, very relaxing cigar buzz at the moment, so I certainly can't complain. I'd have to say at the moment, what is this? This is so one third, two third, three third. I'd have to say we're probably almost all the way through the first third. So I wanna go ahead and summarize while we're still in the first third. Um, what the first third of this cigar uh, actually tastes like. And I'd have to say, the taste more so than not depends on the hit uh, depends on the hit you take kind of thing. Sometimes the hit you take, uh, some tastes are more intense than not. But I'd have to say more so than not, the taste in the first third of this cigar is um, very much a pleasant, um, creamy, uh, a, a pleasant, very mild, creamy taste um, with hints of dark chocolate and hints of leather as well. And then hints of pepper if you smoke it a little bit too fast. But overall, more so than not, this really is a pretty good cigar, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. And the first third has been a very, very, very enjoyable smoking experience so far. Um, we're almost 40 minutes into the video and I am barely done with this cigar. <laughs> wow, this has taken me a minute to smoke, I ain't gonna lie, that is for sure. Just people riding by and whatnot on their bicycles. But, um, you know, the first third of this cigar has been absolutely fantastic. Much less sweet than what I'm used to, but the taste is still very much to my preference. Which I really, really, really do like, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Yeah. Very, very, very nice uh, buzz as well, I ain't gonna lie. Very nice buzz as well. You know, the taste, I think I said, just very much a, a very pleasant, um, not sweet, creamy, um, sort of dark chocolate taste. Not really bitter either. Um, maybe a slight bitterness, but definitely just more dark chocolate than not, especially the uh, aftertaste is very much dark chocolate-like. Um, and it just builds up slowly in your mouth. And I have a very nice dark chocolate taste in my mouth at the moment. Um, not like a super sweet dark chocolate taste, not like a super bitter dark chocolate taste, just a very nice, slightly creamy, dark chocolate taste with hints of leather in there as well. And then uh, when you smoke a little bit too fast, you get some hints of pepper in the back of your throat as well. That is, I think, a good summary of what this cigar tastes like in the first third, I definitely have to say. Yeah, definitely not bad at all if I do say so myself, but very different than what I am used to and what I typically enjoy smoking. Yeah, I certainly cannot complain, that is for sure. Yeah, not bad at all, not bad at all. I'm kind of tempted to try to make the draw a little bit bigger, but at the same time, I'm kind of enjoying how it is now. The draw is definitely not bad on this cigar, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Draw is not bad. I'm not getting the biggest body in the world, but in all honesty, I don't really want the biggest body in the world from this cigar. Um, it is definitely a little bit rough kind of thing. Um, so I'm, I, I am honestly glad I, I only cut it to the point at where I cut it, in all honesty. The um, smaller body and the um, increased um, length of the draw um, due to the 
amount that I cut due to the smaller amount that I cut is, is honestly perfect for this cigar kind of thing. It is a little bit rough for me, I ain't gonna lie. A little bit rougher than most cigars I, I've been used to smoking. Um, so I really do have no complaints on my behalf about how little I cut it. I think it's just about perfect. If I maybe was a more experienced cigar smoker and I was more used to smoking cigars such as this one, um, then maybe I would have wanted to cut it a little bit bigger. Um, but right now, this is perfect in all honesty. But no, the draw is very good. The airflow is is very good. Um, there's no sort of um, quality issues or anything like that kind of thing. I'm not getting any sort of stems or anything breaking up um, the airflow or anything like that kind of thing. Um, I'm not having any parts of the cigar cause airflow loss or anything like that kind of thing. The quality of the cigar is very, very, very good if I do say so myself. I really should have brought out a little bit of an ashtray with me, I ain't gonna lie. And this is uh, very much starting to canoe a little bit, I ain't gonna lie. Look at that canoe. I think I might try to fix that real quick. Just see if I can without getting the ash on me. Did I fix that? Eh, kind of. There we go. I think I might have fixed it a little bit. I hope that fixed it a little bit. It's definitely burning a little bit more now, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna give it a moment, then I'm gonna go and take another hit. But I uh, I hope I fixed that a little bit. I think I fixed the canoe a little bit. It's still not the most even burn in the world, but um, better than not. And I'm like, look at that ash. That ash is beautiful, y'all. Look at that ash. That is some beautiful ash, I ain't gonna lie. That is definitely some uh, attractive-ass ash. Give it a moment, wanted to grab myself some more screenshots. But man, just sitting out here, just enjoying the day is uh, so dang nice, so dang nice. It really is just so nice, I ain't gonna lie y'all. It's a beautiful day, perfect cigar smoking weather. It's not too hot, not too cold. When you're driving, it's perfect windows down weather. It's not hot enough where your back starts sweating in the seat. It's uh, not cold enough where the wind's rushing in, kind of makes you a little bit chilly kind of thing. It really is just perfect weather. There's a light breeze right now. The wind is uh, not intense though by any means. It's just a little bit cloudy kind of thing. It really is just so gorgeous today. It really is just so gorgeous today. This really was a good day to um, smoke a cigar on Angela. Really a good day to smoke a cigar. I really do have no complaints on my behalf. I'm gonna go and get my new bottle of water that I grabbed a couple minutes ago, all opened up though. If I can, um, oh, there we go. There we go. Get myself some palate cleanser going because I think we are now in the second third of this cigar. So now I want to go ahead and start trying to determine what the taste is like in the second third. I'm sure it won't change immediately, but I do think we're in the second third now, so I wanna go ahead and start determining what the uh, new taste is like. One bad thing about being it being so nice today though is that um, there's bugs everywhere. I'd have to say the taste has changed somewhat. I'd have to say, hmm, I'm gonna have to take a minute. I'm gonna have to take a minute. I'm gonna have to take a rain check for really letting y'all know what the taste is like to an extent. Um, as I'm, I've gotta kinda take a couple more hits, gotta kinda think on it a little bit, but it has definitely changed a little bit, I do feel like. We're definitely now into the second third, and I do definitely feel like the taste has changed somewhat, I ain't gonna lie y'all. Yeah. Excuse me. Okay. <coughs> so I'd have to say the taste now is less creamy, more dark chocolatey, more leathery, I think. 
less creamy, more dark chocolatey, more leathery. That sounds about right. I think that's about right, yeah. Let's go and take another hit to really determine for sure. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know, that creaminess is still in there. I'm not really noticing any specific changes in the second third of the cigar, actually. I thought that there were some changes, uh, and I do feel like the, the dark chocolate taste has gotten more intense, but the creamy taste is still very much in there. I'd have to say now, if anything, it's... Dark chocolate is the most intense taste, then cream, then leather. So it's it's just flipped kind of thing. It's 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 a no longer dark chocolate is the undertone. It's now cream that is in the undertone, and the dark chocolate is much more intense now. But it's not like the um the the the, the cigar has completely switched flavor or something like that in the second third. It's just slightly different. It's not completely different. It's just slightly different. I definitely have to say. Yeah, but uh, that change might get more. Um, intense as I smoke my way through the uh, second third of a cigar. And man, this ash is holding on fantastically. I am impressed. I feel like it's going to ash at any time, but it's a, it's holding on pretty good. I can't complain. Yeah. The one bad thing about it being so nice out here is that there's bugs everywhere. Bugs are definitely coming from me, I ain't gonna lie. I'll take my sunnies off for a minute. <coughs> yeah, this is definitely a little bit rough, though, still. Definitely rougher than I'm used to. Even when I'm normally used to inhaling cigarettes, this is still rougher than I'm used to. Yeah. Hmm. This is a very interesting cigar. I'm not super experienced in the cigar world, but, um... The cigar is definitely very, um, different from what I've smoked previously. Most cigars I, I've smoked that, I've, that, that have tasted like this have been much sweeter than this cigar. But this cigar is not meant to be sweet. It's not meant to be a super sweet cigar by any means, but it still has a very nice chocolatey taste to it, which is very much to my preference, I can lie. I really, really, really do like that. Yeah. No, not, not bad. Very interesting. Yeah. Well, I can't complain. Yeah. No. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Very, very, very interesting. Yeah. I, the, cha the taste is changing somewhat in the second third, but, but really not all that much in all honesty. It's more so than not staying the same. And this is one thing I did hear about the cigar while I was researching it. Uh, there was a lot of conflicting stuff about the cigar. Um, tastes were very conflicting about it and everything like that, but I did see one comment um, that I am remembering now, uh, because I'm kind of thinking this myself, that, um, that they, they were saying that this cigar doesn't really have much, ta uh, must, much um, taste change throughout it kind of thing. A little bit, but not really much. And at the moment, at least, I am honestly inclined to agree. I am honestly inclined to agree that there's not really much taste change in this cigar at the moment, at least. I could very well be wrong, that is for sure. But right now, there's definitely not much taste change in this cigar. Yeah, very interesting.
like the tastes that were there at the beginning are still there and they've kind of flipped around a little bit but it's not like there's a, a new taste by any means there's no new tastes coming in or anything like that kind of thing but that by no means is a bad thing that by no means is a bad thing um but this cigar is by no means keeping me on my toes that is for sure Hmm. Yeah, I'd have to say, in the second third, the dark chocolate, uh, the sort of dark chocolate taste is definitely becoming more intense with the cream taste being secondary, and then it's that sort of leather taste. But the cream taste and the leather taste are um, quite equal, if I do say so myself. Uh, it's not really one over the other. They're more equal than not, and they're combining pretty well, if I do say so myself. But definitely the most intense taste in the second third is definitely that sort of dark chocolate taste. And it's not gotten really any sweeter. It's not really gotten any more bitter. Maybe slightly more bitter, but not really significantly so. Um, but yeah, no, not bad at all if I do say so myself. And as always, there are still hints of pepper in the back of my throat as well. Yeah. No, I can't complain. I can't complain at all. This cigar has taken a minute to smoke, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I saw some other people saying they, uh, that this cigar took 70 minutes to smoke. And um, thinking it might take me uh, a little bit longer than 70 minutes. We're not even like halfway through the cigar yet. I don't even know if I'm going to finish off this cigar today in all honesty. But um, I'm going to try to smoke as much of it as I can before I get too bored with it or anything like that kind of thing. Before I have to take a piss. If I have to take a piss, I'm just going to end the video. Um, but I don't have to take a piss yet. I'm going to smoke as much of the cigar as I possibly can. You know what I'm saying? It certainly is an enjoyable cigar to smoke, that is for sure. Would I buy it again? Hmm. I think I would. On that last hit, I got a really nice milky dark chocolate taste as well. That was really nice. But, you know, I think I would buy the cigar again. It's not something that I would smoke on the regular. I am a fan of dessert cigars through and through. I like my dessert cigars. Uh, I like my sweet cigars, that is for sure, and this is very much a cigar with a dessert-like taste to it, but it's by no means a sweet cigar. Uh, the taste coming off of this cigar is not sweet. The cap is not sweet or anything like that kind of thing. This is not a sweet cigar, in my personal opinion. Um, and so as such, it's not exactly to my preference, but it's still a pretty decent quality, interesting tasting cigar. And it's not keeping me on my toes by any means kind of thing, but... It's not a bad cigar. It's stronger than not. I'm certainly enjoying the very nice, relaxing feeling I'm getting right now. So uh, I really do have no complaints on my behalf. I do still think, though, that I'd much rather smoke a sweeter cigar. But the taste coming off of this is still pretty nice. And um, it definitely is helping me... Um, it definitely is helping me diversify my palate just a little bit. So uh, I certainly can't complain. This cigar was a good intro for me um, to get into less sweet cigars. And um, I think after this cigar, I might have to look into more cigars similar to this one and um, see if I can really find the perfect balance of sort of like sweetness and not sweetness. So if I want like a super sweet cigar, I can have a super sweet cigar. I already know what super sweet cigar I like. This is a pretty good cigar that like isn't super sweet kind of thing, but what's a good mid-range? What's a good cigar that is kind of sweet but not super sweet kind of thing? I gotta find a cigar like that. Hmm. You know, it really is just so nice today. I really cannot complain, I ain't gonna lie, y'all.
Oh, wow. And the ash just fell off. <laughs> the ash just fell off. Wow. That just fell off just like that. Wow. That like, I don't know if y'all can hear that on camera, but it was like, boom. It, you could literally hear it hit the ground. Wow. I'm just going to go in. Wow. You could hear that hit the ground. Damn. Wow. That was, um, I wasn't expecting that sound. That is for sure. When I think of ash, I think of like cigarette ash. You, you, you flick your cigarette and it kind of goes on the ground, but it doesn't make any noise. That made noise hitting the ground. What the hell? That was honestly so funny. Wow, I was not expecting that. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Was not expecting that one bit. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the band off as well. I'm gonna go and just take the band off just like that. I'm definitely burning the cigar a little bit warm. I ain't gonna lie, y'all, but it is what it is. It's definitely pretty warm up here, that is for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and... um exhale through the cigarette though just to see if i can get some of that tar out because it is starting to i am definitely starting to taste a little bit of tar there we go hopefully that was good let's go ahead and uh take another hit now Oh yeah, much cleaner taste, much cleaner taste now. Glad I did that. Yeah, that really is. I'm mean, like, I've actually done that with a cigarette. I've taken, um, I was smoking a cigarette uh, off video and I blew through it in like the last third of the cigarette just to get rid of some of the tarry taste and it actually worked. It actually worked. I was like, what? This doesn't just work on cigars. This actually works on cigarettes. That's pretty cool if I do say so myself. I was like, that is neat. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I certainly can't complain. You know, that got rid of a lot of the tarry taste that I was a, uh, uh, starting starting to um, taste just a little bit. I do think the wrapper right here is not quite catching as I want it to, so I do think, knock off the lid off this, and I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, fix that real quick. There we go. Just like that. Just gonna put the cap back on. Just like that. And uh, let's go and take a hit. But you know, to summarize my thoughts on the second third, we're definitely into the second third now. And uh, I'd have to say we're getting close to the, to the, to the last third of the cigar. Um, to summarize my thoughts for the second third, I'd have to say the dark chocolate taste got much more intense and the creamy taste sort of went into the background a little bit kind of thing mixing in with that leather taste giving it a very nice taste but that leather taste um, also dissipated a little bit I, if I had to say um, especially with me getting rid of that tarry taste a little bit the leather taste has dissipated a little bit more um, you know I definitely have to say the main taste in the second third is very much a very nice dark chocolate taste not bitter just dark chocolate um, and then after that sort of a creamy taste uh, and then after that, sort of a little bit of a leather-like taste. And about halfway through the second third, I started getting sort of um, a little bit of a milky taste as well um, in the cigar. The, the creamy and milky taste, they're not quite the same, but I am getting sort of a, a milky taste as well kind of thing, like sort of a, a, a milk chocolate almost taste mixing in with that dark chocolate. Um, almost like rice milk or something like that kind of thing. Really, really, really nice if I do say so myself. Bringing just a little bit of sweetness to the cigar, but not much at all. Just the perfect amount if I do say so myself. Yeah, I think those are pretty much my final thoughts in the second third of the cigar. I think the taste is probably going to stay the same until I hit the third third. So I am um, probably, um, I'm just gonna kind of chill out until I uh, get my way through the uh, the rest of the second third. I think the, the the third third is probably gonna start right about there, if I had to guess, or maybe like there. There's a little bit of a line right there, and that's kind of what I'm determining that on. So maybe it'll start like right about there. Not exactly sure, in all honesty, but um, nonetheless, I'm gonna keep enjoying this cigar. That is for sure.
It's getting a little bit cloudy here now. Oh, wow, that's really bright. Never mind, I'm putting my sunglasses back on. <laughs> that's really bright. Um, it's getting a little bit cloudier now, but I can, just looking at the clouds, I can see them moving across the sky. Really cool if I do say so myself. Some of them are pretty thick, so they got gray bottoms. Some of them are not, not, are not thick at all. And I'm seeing like one cloud over there that's looking like, uh, the top of it's looking like a Lapida or something like that kind of thing, where it's just like really, really, really bright, really, really, really fluffy, really cool stuff. Very beautiful. Very beautiful day today. Man, I really should have brought some dark chocolate with me. This cigar would pair so well with dark chocolate. Yeah, great pairing. I think this cigar would pair really well with like sweet dark chocolate or not so sweet dark chocolate. I think either way would be a good pairing in all honesty. Yeah. Either way, it'd be a good pairing. I certainly can't complain. This is definitely a more slow smoking cigar than not. I uh, got this cigar lit up around, I wanna say like the 10 minute mark. And so I've been smoking this cigar for about 50 minutes now. And um, I mean, like I could definitely stub out this cigar right now if I took what, um, what is it? Uh, Zeno Davidoff said, uh, Zeno Davidoff said, oh, you're only supposed to smoke the cigar to the halfway point and then you're supposed to, and then you're supposed to stub it out and get another one all lit up if you want more. Um, I don't do that though. I get my money's worth. He only said that because he wants to sell more cigars. Um, but if I'm smoking it to like this point right here, I think I'm going to be smoking for like another 20 minutes solid kind of thing. No, for nine bucks, I'm getting a nice long smoke. I ain't going to lie. I'm not bad at all if I do say so myself. If I'm looking for a cigar that has a nice dark chocolate taste to it, but is not super sweet, this is definitely a cigar I'd buy again, 100%. I can see why everybody raves about this cigar right here, I ain't gonna lie, also certainly no complaints on my behalf. No, I can't, I can't really see why everybody says such good things about this cigar. The taste has pretty much stayed more so the same than not all the way through. It is cigar is by no means keeping me on my toes, but the taste is still really, really, really good nonetheless. It's really, really good, really good nonetheless. I've never smoked a $20 cigar, so I can't say whether this is comparable to a $20 cigar or not. Um, but what I can say is that it's a pretty good cigar. I can say that this is a pretty good cigar, in my personal opinion at least. Um, although I do take what I say uh, with a grain of salt, I'm by no means a cigar aficionado. I am still very new to the world of cigars, um, but it's still a good cigar in my personal opinion at least. Yeah, this cigar though, I will admit, has me craving some dark chocolate. Man, I want some dark chocolate so bad. That dark chocolate taste is so nice. Man, I want some dark chocolate right now. Can't believe that ash literally made a noise that hit as it hit the ground though. That must have been some heavy ash. Wow. I was not expecting that. Excuse me. I don't want to jinx myself. Knock on plastic. But uh, thankfully those hiccups I had at the beginning of this video have not come back. It would have sucked to have hiccups all the way through trying to smoke this. I ain't gonna lie. That would have not been pleasant. That would have not been pleasant. I think maybe I was taking a little bit of a too deep, too deep of a hit when I was swallowing some of the smoke, which I think might have been giving me hiccups. Um, but I must have stopped doing that because they haven't come back. Knock on plastic though, knock on plastic. Don't want those to come back, that is for sure. Knock, knock, knock on, knock on a tortoise shell sunglasses. No, 
Not bad at all, though, if I do say so myself. Not bad at all. Man, man, I can't complain. I'd buy it again. But um, I definitely have to be, um, I'd have to be craving this cigar to buy it again. Definitely not bad enough for me to not want to buy it again. And I said I would buy it again. But um, I would definitely need to be craving a sort of unsweet cigar. Most of the time when I want a cigar, I'm like, I want something sweet kind of thing. I want a sweet cigar. That's what I want. Um, and this is definitely not bad. Very nice, creamy, dark chocolate taste. Sure, not sweet at all, though. That is what this cigar is not. Um, and so I'd really have to be craving this cigar if I wanted to buy it again. But I would definitely buy it again. Yeah. Just adjust, adjust my seating position just a little bit. I'm starting to get hot smoke on my tongue. It's starting to make my tongue feel a little bit weird. But that uh, dark chocolate taste is still coming through very, very, very nicely, if I do say so myself. I think I'm probably going to smoke this cigar for, if I had to guess, ah, another, hmm, if I had to guess, probably... Yeah, five to ten minutes or so. And then I think after that I'm probably just going to stub it out. I'm starting to feel the need to take a little bit of a piss. So, it's been about an hour. I usually have to take a piss like about every hour, hour and a half, sadly. My, blot my, my blotter, my bladder is um, kind of small. Although I do drink a lot of water. I drink so much water. I drink like, <laughs> I drink like probably like 15 cups of water a day. I, I, I love my water, I ain't gonna lie y'all. That's probably why I gotta piss so much. Um... But I'm definitely starting to have to piss a little bit, so I think I'm probably just going to smoke a little bit of the cigar and um, stub it out, go take a piss, and uh, then enjoy the rest of my uh, day after that. But before I do any of that, of course, I got to smoke the rest of my cigar. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, I ain't going to lie, y'all. What else am I doing today? Today think I'm gonna drive home I'm gonna go record my I think drawing video for the day I do a second video every single day on my second channel if you guys don't know already I do drawing videos every single day highly recommend y'all go check out my second channel link to the description down below of course um, and then I think after that make a call probably to a mechanic or something like that kind of thing and I'm Probably going to yeah. I said make a call to the mechanic. I am trying to figure out what the issue with what the issue is with my uh, Chevy Suburban at the moment. It's likened to a uh, die uh, at idle in gear, so I got to figure out what that issue is. So I'm just going to send it over to a mechanic, see if they can figure it out for me because I've been switching parts, haven't been able to figure it out. It is what it is. I can't complain too much. Should be hopefully cheaper than not to get work done on it. And. Um, After that, I think I'm gonna mow the lawn. I need to mow the lawn today, because I think I'm gonna mow the lawn. And um, before I mow the lawn or after I mow the lawn, I'm gonna have a monster. Chain smoke a little bit, I think. I think I'm gonna edit my videos. Upload them, do thumbnails. Work on uh, some other stuff. That's my, I think that's the rest of my day. I think that's the rest of my day, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Yeah, doesn't sound too bad to me. This buzz is hitting, though. I'm feeling so relaxed right now. I cannot complain, I ain't gonna lie. I cannot complain. Yeah, this buzz is hitting.
Plane must be going by or some. Helicopter, not a plane. Looks like maybe a med helicopter or something like that. Airy vac, who knows. Not a news dropper, I know that. Not military either. This cigar is really nice though. I'm feeling so buzzed right now, y'all. I really cannot think of anything to say. I've been feeling so buzzed this entire video. It's been so nice, I ain't gonna lie. It really has just been, wow, that's so bright. Wow, I've gotten so used to wearing my sunglasses. It's so bright. Um, I've been so buzzed this entire video. This, this cigar is really, really, really strong. This cigar is so strong. It's so nice, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm feeling so relaxed right now. The cigar buzz is just so nice. I cannot complain. I don't know whether in, we're, whether we're into the third third or not. I feel like we might be though. I feel like we might be into the third third because I do feel like the taste is changing somewhat. I feel like the dark chocolate taste has gone away a little bit and now the leather taste is the main taste that I'm getting. And there's still that creamy taste in there. So I'd have to say now the taste is sort of like a leather creamy taste with an undertone of dark chocolate. That's kind of what the taste is like now. And so throughout this cigar, there haven't really been any new tastes coming through or anything like that kind of thing. It's just been the same tastes that kind of rotate in significance. That's kind of how um, the taste of the cigar is. It's definitely not keeping me on my toes by any means, but not bad at all if I do say so myself. Definitely worth the $9 I spent on this cigar. Not too bad though, if I do say so myself. Not too bad, you know what I'm saying? Not too bad. Well, I'm kind of feeling like I gotta take a piss in all honesty. There's a port of john right over there. I could very well leave my camera here while I go take a piss, but there's people walking and driving by every so often. I'm not a trusting enough person to leave my phone out while I go take a piss. So I think I'm gonna take probably a couple more hits of my cigar, enjoy it for the next three or four minutes. And then after that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, end the video right there. But while I'm smoking the rest of my cigar, I kinda wanna give you guys my final thoughts on it. So what are my final thoughts on the Oliva, um, what was the name of this cigar again? This is the, this is the, got my, oh, ring thing right here. This is the Oliva Series V Liga, Liga Especial. So what are my final thoughts on the Oliva Special, on the Oliva Serie V Liga Especial? What are my final thoughts on this cigar right here? Not a bad cigar. Not a bad cigar if I do say so myself. Not exactly to my preference, but to my preference at the same time. I really like tobacco products that taste like chocolate. And this definitely does taste like dark chocolate, that is for sure, along with hints of cream and leather. Um, a little bit of pepper in the back of my throat that's been there all the way through smoking this cigarette as well. But um, that's pretty much a good summary of the taste. Um, throughout the cigar, the taste has uh, kind of rotated between in intensity between cream, uh, dark chocolate, and leather in that order. The first third of the cigar was definitely very much sort of a I think I might've let this go out. Not quite yet. But the um, first third of the cigar, uh, was very much very an intense cream taste, 
um, with uh, undertones of dark chocolate and leather. And then for the second third, the dark chocolate was the most intense taste with undertones of cream and leather. And then for the third third, the leather is definitely the main sort of intense taste uh, with hints of uh, cream and then dark chocolate being the least significant taste in the third third. Not bad at all if I do say so myself. This is not a cigar that keeps you on your toes, but it is a very strong cigar, a very nice cigar if I do say so myself, and it's a cigar that I would buy again. It's not super sweet, it's not exactly my preference. If I was gonna buy the cigar again, I would definitely need to be craving this specific cigar, but it is nonetheless a cigar that I would buy again, as I do think that I would enjoy smoking it again. I enjoyed smoking this cigar, and I do definitely think I would enjoy smoking it again. But my personal preference when it comes to cigars is definitely sweeter, dessert-like cigars, and this is not a super sweet cigar by any means. I do think without further ado, I think that was a good summary of my thoughts. Uh, was this cigar worth $9? Oh, 100%. This cigar was definitely worth $9. I don't know enough about cigars to say whether this is a, a $9 cigar with a $20 value like some people online were saying, but it's a good cigar for $9, so I certainly can't complain that is for sure. I do think without further ado though, I'm going to go and take just one or two more hits. I'm going to go and stub the cigar out, and then after that, I'm going to go ahead and finish this video right there. Without further ado, I'm going to go and stub the cigar. Uh, I'm going to go and stub the cigar. I'm going to go and take the final hits. I think I might have let this go out. So um, maybe, maybe no more. Maybe no more. It certainly is what it is. Well, I'm going to go ahead and stub this cigar out just like that. And yeah, it was not smoking anymore. It was not burning anymore. That is definitely quite out if I do say so myself. Well, we can see it burned all the way down to that point just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Wow, I am pretty impressed. That was a, that's a pretty deep burn if I do say so myself. But I certainly cannot complain. Well, this cigar right here was pretty good. The, um... Oliva Siri V um, uh, Liga Especial was a, a pretty good cigar if I do say so myself and definitely something I would buy again if I was craving. I think I've said everything I wanted to say. I've talked about the taste throughout the cigar. I gave you guys my uh, final thoughts on the cigar. I kind of summarized what the experience was like. I think I've talked about everything I needed to talk about. I think the one thing I might have not mentioned is that, um, as part of my final thoughts, is that it is a very strong cigar. It's definitely a very strong cigar, that is for sure, but um, that is very much to my liking, so I cannot complain. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video, though I know it's been a very long one. If you guys uh, have stuck around uh, until this point, well, you certainly have uh, my um what's the right way of putting it you certainly um you certainly are a real g that is for sure if you've stuck around until this point in the video you certainly are a real g i certainly can't complain that is for sure thank you very much for watching the entire video if you guys did i certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching my video where i smoked a nine dollar cigar that i bought without researching it one bit before buying if you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to well like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But you know, thank you very much for watching, y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying?